is much more relevant if you have a comorbidity, if you are a diabetic or if you are a hypertensive or if you have a family member with renal disease, it's always imperative on your part to get yourself checked uh, to see if you already have a kidney disease. The reason being many a times kidney diseases are very silent, they don't cause any trouble and they go unnoticed. Unless otherwise the kidney is damaged to a very large extent of 60 to 70 percent, it doesn't show any symptoms. So that's the reason why if you have a risk factor, it's always important that you discuss with your doctor and get yourself tested for it. Now when, when we come to the tests as such, the number of tests that you need to do to screen if you have a kidney disease are very, very uh, small in number and they are very inexpensive. All that need, you need to get it done is to get your blood pressure checked to see that if it is normal, get your urine checked to see if there is any protein loss in urine, if there are any red blood cells in your urine or to see if there is any abnormal uh, uh, um, uh, leukocytes in your urine. The other test is a blood test to check if your kidney is functioning normally. We call this test as a serum creatinine test to see if the kidney is functioning well or not. Another th test that we would suggest is to get an ultrasound examination of your abdomen. This will tell if you have two kidneys, if they are proper in place, if they look normally, if their size is normal, if they have any tumor or any other cysts in that. Mm -hmm.